Welcome back to Scratch Writing with Jeeves, guys. We're back at the big unit once again. This is gonna be part six. We are almost to the wall of the back unit. I see at least seven mystery totes, and they might be the last totes until we get to the wall. So you know what that usually means? The highest valued items. So let's go in there and let's get them out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let's go. Oh yeah. Well, we love the big furniture in here. That's not coming out right now. This big furniture, we're gonna try to list on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and places like that and get it sold directly from the unit so we don't have to bring it home. Best strategy we have, we have this unit until the end of the month. So we still have about two weeks here. So we can get the big stuff sold without having to take it home. That's a win. But for now, we're gonna look in these boxes and look at that huge stack of totes. All full of gold. Go. So the first of these two boxes was full of nothing but clothes. So we went ahead and took that one out. Didn't want to show you more clothes. Let's get into here. Look what we got. Candyland. That's one of the best kids games ever. I mean, oh, well, that's open. Puzzles. The rest of this box, though, does look like a crap ton of children's books, which are good sellers at the flea market. We get a dollar a piece, and there's probably at least 10 to 20 of them. So with Candyland and everything, I'm gonna call that a $15 box and let's get on to the totes. So we got these totes down first because when we are moving stuff, these are wobbling and those are wobbling, these are wobbling and we don't need nothing else falling and breaking. Let's see what else we got. This looks like more kitchen stuff. I have never seen so much kitchen stuff in a store view before. How many kitchens did you have? Seriously. All kitchen stuff, all of it, all the way down. Nothing else, but you know what? We sell kitchen stuff every time for a dollar a piece or something. Like the mixing cups will sell for a dollar, a dollar a pan, dollar a bowl, all day. So it's not much, but there's probably 15 or 20 things in here. So I'm gonna call that either a 15 or a $20 tote. All right, got the next tote down. I see AV cables from here. We're hoping it's a VCR. Did you guys know VCR sell for so much money? I looked it up on eBay and the one we found yesterday is like a 45 to $50 VCR. And I was like, I was gonna take it to the flea market and sell it for a dollar, $45. Let's see. The Narcotics Anonymous Step Working Guide. That's not a good start. Narcotics what is this one? Anonymous. Narcotics Anonymous. Well, definitely not a good start. So let's make sure there's nothing in them. And Alcoholics Anonymous. Man, somebody really went through it, didn't they? How it works and why. More books. What's in here? Just these are all books and things of that nature for that. They're all. Narcotics and Alcoholics Anonymous type books. 12 Steps, Narcotics Anonymous, all of them. So we're just gonna set this over here. Say a dollar a book, $10 there. It's actually a DVD player, right? So a uh, Denon DVD player? Never heard of that brand. Me neither. Let's hope this one's a VCR. I think it's too slim now. This one's actually a DVD as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Why does it have two, uh, two DVD players? So. They sell for about $3 a piece at the flea market, not very much. Then we also have Black & Decker drill, that's good. And it's an electric one, good. Because a lot of the ones we find that are battery, the batteries are missing and that takes away a lot of the value. So, electric one might be on eBay, we'll look it up. I don't know, drills are one of those things too, they vary a lot. And we get a remote probably for one of those. A few more DVDs, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Okay, okay they're all Harry Potter. Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, The Order of the Phoenix, Prisoner of Azkaban or something, and Half-Blood Prince. They're all Harry Potter. So maybe a dollar a piece again. What's this? Another Harry Potter? Planet 51. Looks like Shrek or something. <laughs> and other than that, not too much in there, but overall about five or six bucks with the DVD players. Not sure about the drill yet. Probably five to 10 bucks on a book. So call it a $15 tote plus the drill's value. That's good and good. Before we get into this tote we just pulled down, guess what I see? Look at that. You know what that is? The wall. Oh. We're finally at the end of the unit. We missed you, wall. Wow. It's been a long journey, but a fun one and a very profitable one. Let's see what we've done here. Ooh, first thing I see. Jordans. If we can find the other one, is that it? No, where is it? Oh, come on! Oh, there it is. That's a 5 or $10 pair of Jordans. Get the flea market easy. Ba boom What are these? Just more random shoes. Nothing special, nothing special. Everything else, 
These are Nikes. These are probably five bucks because they're cheap ones and they're pretty worn. Everything else, two dollars a pair, like three or four pairs of shoes, eight bucks plus five or ten plus three or five. So say like twenty dollars, fifteen to twenty dollars for all the shoes in here. Not bad. Let's keep on going. All right, so we just pulled this big toolbox down. It's not really that big, but it's extremely heavy. I can tell you that. If it's full of tools, we got a lot of money. So let's hope for it. Open this first, I guess. Last time we found one of these, a long time ago for our OG fans, it, it wasn't tools. That's all we'll say. We're just going to stop there. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, this, I can't open it all the way. <laughs> this looks like a bunch of sprays and whatnot. A couple drools. You got like a socket wrench, uh, measuring tape. This looks like it has screws and stuff like that in it. This looks like paint caulking type stuff caulk. caulk i can't i cannot say that word and i think it's funny still <laughs> what is this just a pen um that looks like that um like we found one of these before yeah the pulse pens where you like write it down on the that paper and it keeps it electronically oh, that's pretty cool i think we tried at ebay last time i don't remember the price though so we got like a multi-tool piece of pipe it looks like a plumber's box not much in there, but don't think they have two parts to them. Yeah, on the side. Haha, ha, look. This comes off too. Does it come off? It lifts up. Yeah, it oh, does. It comes off. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I remember from last time. That. Sand block. A little rusty in here. Uh, screwdriver set. Screws. Um, yeah, there's some, some tools down in here. Here's like a. I don't even know. I was about to act like I did, but I don't. A <laughs> uh, hammer. That's a freaking hatchet hammer. Um, some pliers. You got a drill battery. This is an axe, a hammer, and a crowbar. That's pretty cool. You got this. I mean, I guarantee this and everything in it. I'd sell for 25 but really pick 20 so call that $20 box right there. That's cool. So I just got this coat down and there's a lot of nice paintings in here. Check these out. So we know the owner, based on other stuff we found, was a big painter. So then we're thinking since these aren't signed or marked or dated anywhere, these are probably all done by her or him, whichever one. And I think she was practicing. There was also a lot of drawing books in there and a lot of these pictures look like, like starter scenery pictures. But they're really well done. Yeah, they are. So we'll probably sell these at the flea market, to be honest, like a dollar or two a piece. I don't know if that's a painting, no? No. Um, and that might be Audrey Hepburn. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, I think, no, I think she was a fashion person, like fashion designer or model. So we'll ask $2 a piece on these, but more than likely we'll end up going for a buck a piece. This looks like kids. This is new. 23 bucks. Not bad. All the rest of it closed, it looks like. Um, looks like it might be, guys, unfortunately. But, a lot of clothes in there at a dollar a piece. Ten bucks plus ten again, so say twenty dollars again for this tote. We're doing good, we're doing good. Alright, so we just took out one tote. All it was in it was two pillows and a shower curtain. This one looks to have a lot of random stuff in it, so let's see what we can get into. We got us a necklace, but definitely fake necklace. Junk. This is it's all makeup. This stuff looks new, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's all new makeup. Might very well be. Maybe damaged. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Flea market. Same with all this makeup. Flea market it. Nothing. 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 The Golden State Warriors bear. That'll definitely sell. Tigger. Spider-Man, uh, pill thing, we'll throw the pills out and sell that. Ooh, a wallet. Ooh, it's actually a used wallet. No money though. Ah, not that I see at least. What's a BevMo? Uh, it's a grocery store. Is it? Mm -hmm. So nothing in it, unfortunately. Um, what are DG glasses? Mm, don't say goodbye. What the heck was that? What? <laughs> what you just said. 
one. Try to do it with one hand. I don't know if Dolce, like, I don't know if it's Dolce Cabana or Gabbana. I don't know. But it's a brand. Look at this. And I know it's expensive. The pumpkin cutter. Nice. It's pretty cool. Nothing. Nothing. There's that. What is that? GPS? No, internet tablet. Weird. That little thing. Yeah, that's pretty much a smartphone. There's something. Like a charger or something. A couple 9 volt batteries, we'll keep those, we always need batteries. Um, not looking too exciting in here guys, looking like a lot of trash unfortunately. Yeah, the rest of this code is pretty much trash, so we're going to fill it back up and go ahead and take it out and keep on going. So we went through three more totes, it seems these people are doing this backwards, you're supposed to put the good stuff in the back, not in the... Bleh. They're putting the good stuff in the front, put it like that. <laughs> These totes are full of paperwork. Two of them are paperwork and two of them are old expired food. So Yay. didn't want to go through that, but we found one that looks like it at least has something interesting in it. Hopefully. Let's see. Good stuff so we got. We do have a nice mixture though. More kitchen. All kitchen stuff in this unit. Uh, I'm trying to find somewhere to put it. It's not plugged in. Anymore. That might be a well, good reason. Here's some more napkins for us. Nice dish here. And another nice dish. Dollar a piece again. Be like three for the mixer, a dollar though. So five bucks there. Uh, what is this? Mm. The bottom piece. A hey. processor? Mm, no. Could be like a dehumidifier. What goes in there? This says Vix. I think water goes in here. I think it just humidifies the air, or it makes it less humid. And Vix right. is like um. I know they make the rub. Yeah, like cold medicine. This thingy. Don't really know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's the top to something. Yeah, that... and you do storage units. You find a lot of stuff you didn't even know existed, and you're like, what yeah. is that? You really, really do. It's a knife set. Is it in there? They are. So this is in there, uh, Kutan Stool, whatever, knife company, knife set. I think, pretty sure this is the top to that white dish in there. Yeah. And those and knives aren't expensive, they're really sharp knives, so. Cheese grater, plastic knives, and another dish. And, don't forget the can opener, or another, like, garlic thingy again. Yeah. So, $15 again for this tote, not nothing high end, but, it's better than expired food. So it moved out another full tote of nothing but clothes. Again, add another 20 bucks to the total because they'll sell a dollar a piece. Let's get into this one because this one looks a little random. First, we point this out. First, it was my Yamaha speaker on 2011. Then it became DVDs with a piece of tape. And now it's, I don't even know. But I did see one little tool at least. This looks like a sander, right? Yep. That's what I would think too. This will 100% sell. Um, it looks like other than that, like a bunch of little electrical and plumbing pieces, like pipe and things like that. So we'll probably just get, let somebody have it all for a, a dollar or two or something. Other than the sander, we'll sell singly. But everything else, it's just random little pieces here and there. So we'll say three bucks, take the tote, and it'll be gone. So that's it for that one. We only have three more over there and one of them looks like it's food so let's hope we get to show you at least one more so of the three totes left one of them was full of paperwork and trash one of them was full of old expired food <sighs> last one this one looks like it has one thing that i want it's not really valuable but it's valuable to us storage buyers you know what that is Trash bag. the big ones too and there's still a lot of them in there which is really useful so we got trash bags we got a wall now this is a camera. We might have some money. Uh, what the heck? Um, uh oh. Okay, wanna get the lights? Sorry, the lights are set to go off every so often here, but look at this. If I can get the whole case of it off, so I'll be able to show you it all, but whatever. 
It's a Spotomatic Asahi Pentax. And it's got an actual lens on it. So I don't know if this is a good one or not. Camera, some of them are worth a lot. Some of them are worth absolutely nothing. But once I get it out, we'll be able to look it up on eBay. So next clip, I don't know how we're gonna start getting stuff from up here because guys, we're pretty much at the end. There's more, a few more boxes up there. We're gonna have to find a way to get those down. And when we do, I'll, let you, I'll also let you know what this is worth. So be right back. So we got the last little bit of mystery we can see off the top. There's also behind these box springs, we're gonna try to get to it now. Behind them, there's a dresser still, and there might be stuff in the drawers. That's the last bit of mystery we have. But for now, we got this, this, and that little bit over there. Well, so. I also didn't think about if the dresser doesn't take up that whole back space, then there could be stuff in this corner. That's true too. We just, we don't know. But this thing is actually in the plastic in there. Nice. Fireplace candle thing. I think we'd get $5 for that. It's new. Candelabra. All right, what do we have in here? Cleaner, oh boy. Yay. A duster kit. This, shark vacuum, or Brand vacuum, <laughs> a freaking iron. So that's probably 3 to $5. Little razor, same thing, 3 to $5. And this junk, this might sell for a buck. Mm -hmm. Everything else, trash. We also got this thing. It definitely looks like some part of a tire. I'm not that much of a car person, so if anyone knows what that is, definitely, definitely let us know because we're not too sure. I don't know if it has any value or if it's just junk. What's this say? Um, brake rotor. Oh, well, there we go. Duralast brake rotor. I wonder if it's used or not. No, it looks, I don't know. Because I don't know what a brand new one looks like. I have so. no idea either, guys. All right, so we got to the last box that we can see. Then we're going to try to move the mattresses and make sure there's nothing hidden back there. So we got this thing, Blissle, whatever that is. Is that the, like, the what, the waiting point for that robot? Was that a Bissell thing? Was it the, uh, the vacuum? <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Okay. I just found something that's not value, but it's so good for us. It Look is at that. valuable. Look at that. These are all AAA. Nice. These are all AA. These are keeping. And we got 9 volts out of here, too. We're getting every kind of battery there is. Hey, we got some speakers in here. What do we got? They are... Doesn't say. Regular computer speakers? Uh, Black Web. I don't really know. I hope they are. Because I want speakers that are not... Like, I have my speaker on my computer. is like a weird Bluetooth one. Then after you don't touch it for five minutes, it cuts off. And it's really annoying. So, we got those. Yeah, I get to that speaker. You take those. <laughs> what is that? Is that an earwax cleaner? I did it. What? That's a heck of an earwax cleaner. <laughs> I don't know. That this moves way too fast. This. What is this? GameStop dumpster diving days. What is that? A Tommy? Yes. Oh, just a charging port then. That's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> It'll sell. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, massager? Wall, maybe. They usually make like hair, but shit. Oh, what is that? Here. Be a diamond in the rough. Sugar fix is what it says. That does not mean real gold. That means fake crap, I'm sure. Um, oh. A Samsung tablet, it's not cracked. No way. There we go. How often do you find a tablet that's not cracked in a storage unit? One in 30? Pretty much. That's cool. Hopefully it works. We also got a phone. Cricket. It's nothing good, but it'll go in our new pile of phones. Still not cracked. Nope. We got a couple of wires in here, which is kind of good because we have a few things that need wires. So, what is that? Power bank? Mm. Look at that. I don't think it's supposed to work like that. Mm -hmm. Just my guess. My non expert opinion. What is this? You see that? Yeah. You know what it looks like? Huh. The thing like store employees use, where they scan, oh, go through and scan. Thing? Yeah. It does. Huh. I wonder what that's worth. Yeah. I wonder where hey, it came remember, from. Remember we found all the clearance things? Yeah. Two. That's true. That's cool. That yeah. probably has some value. I hope so. Hey look, here's <laughs> another one of these things. We need these. Plug them into your car and you got electrical ports. You know, I have to try my try to like test stuff for customers at the flea market, but my van doesn't give the item enough power. What is that to? Why couldn't I have said Rolex? Some kind of watch face. And other than that, looks like we've come to the end, guys. 
So there's nothing else in here. Like we said, we got tape. That's good for us too. <laughs> but we're gonna get this out the way. We're gonna try to move the mattresses and at least show you the dresser. We don't know if there's anything in there or if there's anything else hidden. One of the boxes we found did have like a TV base to it, but we never found a big enough TV to fit it. So I'm still hoping maybe between the mattresses, maybe in the corner, there's a bigger TV. Let's go and see. So we got the mattresses moved and we found, look at this in the corner. Well, 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 Mr. Secret Suitcase. What do you think we got here? <laughs> if anything, it feels super light. We have nothing. And we have nothing. But inside we have... Da -da -da -da! Also nothing. Well, that was a big anticlimactic. Hide it in a corner like that, there's nothing in it. All right. But still, $5 suitcase at the flea market. So, we got to the dresser, it's a nice one too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven drawers. It's dirty, but you know what? They even left us cleaning wipes to clean it. So, mm -hmm. let's go through the drawers. Oh, we got a lot of stuff, actually. Good, I was hoping, I was scared it was gonna be empty. Let's see what we have in this one. The mattress got, this one right here got a funky smell. Yeah, we're probably gonna list it for free. Just hopefully somebody wants it. The other one doesn't though. So that, a couple flip-flops, light bulbs, a cable splitter, and printer paper. What is this though? This looks nice and it looks like it's never been opened. Open, get out. So this is a, this is brand new. Caldwell WSA4440SRN. Everyone knows what that is, right? I'm hoping that has to be eBay value. You have think it. so? It's still in the box. I mean, they never removed it. So, I hope that's good. That's it for that drawer. Oh, we got stuff in here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So a T-Mobile, I was gonna say T-Mobile. T-Mobile phone box that's empty, unfortunately. Thank you, shoe Scale. Box. Five bucks. <coughs> Ooh, what was that? Was that the plate? Yep. Um, <laughs> three bucks. <laughs> It'll still work. Maybe it doesn't need that plate. What? Maybe two dollars. Yeah, maybe a dollar. That's whatever. That thing, you don't really know what that is. What is this box? This looks interesting. Xfinity. What is it? Oh, well, it's nothing. It's the cable. Fit for their cable box. And the remote. That sucks. What else do we have on here? This is. What is that? Why do they have so many gadgets? I don't um, know. Angel Care. It's kind of scary sounding. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Hmm. All right. What is in here? A tablet. Oh, is that the Galaxy the tablet we found, I wonder? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it might be. What is this? Uh, just the pieces to it? Hey, we can sell it with the box. We'll get more money for it. So we might be able to eBay it now because that just takes a regular Android charger. So we'll be able to test it. Hopefully it works. Sunglasses so I could look cool. Flea market. What is this? I'm not gonna judge kitchen stuff no more because the last things I've said like three dollars for the pasta the pasta slicers and we sold one for fifty five, one for fifty, less than they were worth, but still hundred bucks for the two, so not sure on the value of that. Let's look at the Nike box. Oh there is something in there. I don't think they're Nikes, yeah. They are Rocket Sport. Rockport. Rockport. They look, they have still the things in them. Yeah, they're brand new. I don't see any wear or dirt on the bottom. So. Nope. So a brand new pair of shoes. Not the Nikes that were supposed to be in there, but still shoes. Hopefully they have some value too. Top drawer. A nickel. Mm -hmm. And a vape thing. Oh, we have stuff in this one. Let's see. Cool. Eh, we'll put that with the other tool stuff we got. Oh. Careful, it's open. We got it. Not much stuff back there, just two spoons in the back. Boring. But we did also realize that um, this dresser matches the two side tables we found, so we'll look, clean them all up with their wipes and list it all as a set, and hopefully it'll sell for a decent amount. Anything in this one? Because I can't see. Oh, uh, a laptop. I couldn't get it out. A laptop, nice. And a power bank. Uh, hope, oh, power bank. Yeah. We found a few chargers, hopefully one of them go to this. Windows 7 too, ThinkPad. Lenovo, ThinkPad, Windows 7. If we can get this to work, I guarantee it's a decent amount. ThinkPads are pretty good laptops. I don't see any more specs on it or anything, so we'll leave it at that. Ooh. 
Thanks, Shutterflies, all their pictures. Uh, that's sure. boring. We get pictures. This. What is lights. that? Boring. And whatever this is. A penny. You missed a penny. No. <laughs> this is just like random stuff you hang up and stuff. Nothing. Nothing important. Last drawer. Oh, oh. The mattress is kind of blocking it. Can it go in, any? There you go. This one's like got a lot of stuff in it. Ah, hmm. oh, out. All right, there we go. Oh boy, Christmas lights, my favorite. Super cheap, new, and even cheaper used. You're lucky to get a dollar a string. Nothing. Giant rim earring. What is this? Oh, it's the, hey, it's the pack to the Nikon Cool Fix. We found one of these. One of them we found was actually a decent camera too. Oh, I forgot to mention. We just looked the other camera up we found. If we can get it to cut on and everything, it takes a watch battery. It's about a $50, $60 camera. If it's just parts, it's 20. So hopefully we can get it to cut on, that'll be 60 bucks. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Um, pictures, pictures, pictures. There's probably pictures too. Let's make sure they didn't hide nothing else in here. If I can get it untied, we'll be able to see. Open. This thing does not want to cooperate with me. All right. Hey, it's actually brand new. So we will be able to sell that at the flea market for a dollar. And lastly, we have this thing. A microwave steamer. It's definitely in there, but I don't have an idea on the value right now. So. A little bit of mystery in the dresser, but I think the dresser is all the way against the wall, so I think that's all the mystery we have in this unit, guys. All right, guys, so I just remembered we didn't end the last part to this amazing, huge storage unit. So we got everything out. Um, overall, we've doubled our money on eBay selling, doubled the money in the flea market selling alone. So, I mean, the 350 we doubled that on eBay as well as the flea market. And half the stuff at the flea market, I didn't even think was worth that much. But whatever, you know, good unit. Glad we got this big one. It was our first big one, and we got seven parts out of it. Six or seven, I can't remember. I lost count at this point. It's too big. So, more big storage units for sure to come in the future. So, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let us know if you prefer the small ones versus the big one. So if you did enjoy it, leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunt videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media, links are going to be on screen right here just, or just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace out.